You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we all know about these vaccine mandates that's being handed down by all of these different entities out there, these different companies. ESPN is the focus of this video. However, let's not forget that it's Disney, okay? Owned by Disney. They own ESPN. They own ABC, okay? Uh, so, they passed down vaccine mandates. We saw the tr all the trouble that caused Sage Steele, one of their uh, flagship sports center reporters that they've had broadcasters for a long time. She did decide to get the vaccine. Like we said before, that's fine. Okay, if that's what you want to do, awesome. But if you don't, that's awesome too because there's this thing called freedom in this country. Uh, freedom to dictate, you know, actual medical procedures, things that you're going to ingest into your body, have taken into your body, that should be your decision. Okay, you, your doctor, whoever you feel as a uh, person in this country, a free person, whoever you need to consult. Well, we have chronicled the trials and tribulations of one ESPN's, our former ESPN college football reporter, Allison Williams. And she was on with Megan Kelly. Yeah, that Megan Kelly from Fox News. Megan Kelly has a YouTube channel now. You, go, you can go over, subscribe. I can leave the link pinned in the comments section. Um, she was on with Megan Kelly, and she talked about uh, not only the, the vaccine mandates and sort of how scary that is, but she also talked about creepy and sleepy Joe Biden, okay? And the fact that he made a comment that should bother all of us, okay? And it was a comment about freedom. So let's check this out. Uh, this is from Outkick, Bobby Burak. And um, Bobby says he got vaccinated here, okay? Uh Former ESPN reporter Allison Williams has earned my respect. Not because she chose not to receive the vaccine. I'm vaccinated and I support each individual's decision equally. Instead, I respect Williams because she stood up for her beliefs and she went against the in crowd, something so rare in the media. Yeah, I mean, so much of this is about bending the knee to everybody, it seems. You're bending the knee to Twitter. You're bending the knee to media, your employer. I mean, it's it seems to be everybody's willing to just sort of bend the knee, look the other, other way. And you rarely see somebody like Allison stand up and say, I'm, I'm guys, I don't know if I can possibly explain how hard it is for somebody to break into ESPN to actually get hired and go to work there. But you're talking about Every year, and this is something that I think is kind of lost, every year how many local sports persons, okay, people, put in for that one of those ESPN jobs. It is hundreds every year trying to break into something that may not even lead them to be on TV to start out, even though they're on TV now. That's a tough gig to get. ESPN, and frankly, ESPN pays good money. Williams left a job at ESPN over her disagreement with the company's vaccine mandate. Williams used, used not tweets, but actions to make statements. She spoke for Americans across the country who want not to give the government their freedoms, a group distinctly misrepresented by the press. As someone who has covered and knows most sports media members, I can confidently say Williams has more of a spine than all of them. Thursday, Williams opened up about her decision on Sirius XM's Megyn Kelly show. Williams told Kelly that President Joe Biden's statement that his vaccine order isn't about freedom jarred her. We got a clip from that from Megan's YouTube channel. Let's play just a little snippet now. I have never been so jarred by anything a president said, and I know Trump said some really crazy things, but <laughs> to hear the leader of the free world stand up and say, this isn't about your freedom. I thought, oh my God, it is 
always about our freedom. She would go on to say, quote, to hear the leader of the free world stand up and say, this isn't about your freedom. I thought, oh, my God, it's always about our freedom, William said. Quote, if we don't have freedom over our own bodies, we aren't free, Williams continues. That was so scary to me. That is something a dictator would say, something you might hear out of communist China. That is not something a leader of the free people says. Quote, if we can't have true informed consent, what do we have? We don't have freedom. That is why I think it's so important for people to realize this is bigger than a mandate. This is bigger than this shot. And he, uh, Bobby goes on to say, so ESPN had someone that was reasonable on their roster, but chose to only allow far left loons like Ellie Duncan, Mark Jones, and Sarah Spain to speak out about their political issues. I find Allison Williams elegant and has a, a independent mind. She doesn't need ESPN. No, she doesn't. And somebody will jump in and I'm sure hire Allison, I hope. Looking at you, Outkick. We're not big enough yet, so looking at you, Outkick. Uh, you got Armando Seguero over there, so maybe you can pull in. And you got Bobby Car- Carpenter, too, over at Outkick, I noticed. Uh, maybe you can pull in Allison Williams as part of your college football coverage. Not that I'm putting any pressure on you guys, but you get my point, Clay. Uh, so, you know, this is exactly what we need to see more of. We need to see more Enos Cantors, Kyrie Irvings, Sage Steeles, Al- Allison Williams, Jason Whitlocks, people that are willing to uh, go a little harder, right? A little uh, uh, willing to stand up and, and push back from the, the uh, media table and the feast. That's the thing. They offer these people all this money and essentially, for lack of a better way of putting it, you've got to prostitute yourself out. In order to keep a job, well, you know, I'm ashamed of what I'm doing now, but I'm going to go ahead and do this because I know it puts food on the table. Yikes. I mean, nobody should be put in that position. And people will say, well, this is not a forced mandate. You did have a choice. Look, when people have their job put on the line... Yeah, you're, you're forcing somebody to make a very, very hard decision. You're coercing them into having to make a very, very hard decision. And you're forcing that person into a corner. Sometimes when you force people into a corner, what they do is they walk out and hit you in your mouth. I'm just saying. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.